Hello there, and thanks for watching Crypto Lion. We'll be talking about how Robinhood has managed to tie the fate of the trading app to the popular meme currency Dogecoin. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications. We'll be right back after this. GSX is an unprecedented financial asset that combines the best elements of a traditional investment with the backing of a stablecoin and the use cases of many of the largest decentralized currencies like XRP. The popular commission-free financial trading platform Robinhood became a public company back in July finally giving people the opportunity to own a piece of the trading revolution driven by young, first-time investors. But the buzz around the company looks to have reduced after an initial wave of enthusiasm. The second quarter earnings report from the company showed a rapid shift away from the equity trading business that Robinhood had been best known for into cryptocurrencies, especially the highly controversial meme coin Dogecoin. In light of the recent ongoing regulatory questions about its business, investors might be concerned that this will make things worse. As cryptocurrency is the subject of debates among lawmakers. In the second quarter, the largest source of revenue for Robinhood was no longer transactions in conventional markets like stocks and options. Instead, cryptocurrency trading topped the chart in the midst of an increasing interest in digital assets like Dogecoin. 51% of all the revenue made from the transactions came from cryptocurrencies, most especially over $233 million was generated from digital currency trading and more than 62% came from Dogecoin transactions only. This means that Dogecoin was responsible for over 30% of transaction-based revenue. The heavy drop in stock trading means that most of Robinhood's customers are letting go of safer investments in favor of speculations in the crypto market. This isn't completely favorable for the trading platform, as it already is under regulatory scrutiny for promoting risky behavior through its gamified features. However, despite accounting for most of the company's revenue, cryptocurrencies that are owned by Robinhood users make up almost 22% of all assets that are in custody. This means that customers might have been trading their tokens more often than they traded stocks or that cryptocurrencies simply have a higher margin business for the company. It should also be noted that the amount of crypto assets that are being held by its customers is growing at almost 14% more than other assets. Whether or not traders trade more stocks, stock options, or cryptocurrencies, Robinhood rakes almost 80% of its money via a practice known as payment for order flow. Robinhood is popularly known as a no-fee trading platform, but it still makes money from the trading activity of members. When users place a market order, the order is first sent to a third-party group known as market makers. These market makers execute the trades and then pay part of its proceeds back to Robinhood. That is, the platform receives payments based on the order flow. It's for this reason that regulators are paying rapt attention to the market makers and Robinhood itself who are not incentivized to secure the best prices for their users. In a statement made by the Securities and Exchange Commission, payments for order flow cost Robinhood customers over $34 million in hidden fees between 2015 and 2018 after reporting the savings from the zero commission model. The practice is, however, banned in many other major markets, including the UK, and is perceived to be counter to the rules of the European Union. It should be, however, noted that cryptocurrencies present a brand new dimension of risks, not only to Robinhood users, but also to the platform itself. In its second quarter SEC filing, Robinhood sounded a note of warning that because of the security risks that are involved with storing and dealing in cryptocurrencies, the company could not obtain insurance to protect all the crypto holdings of its customers. That means that if Robinhood happens to get hacked or lost control of the crypto assets in its care, its clients would have virtually no way to fully recover their losses. This risk is not unique to Robinhood only. It also affects other major players in the crypto space. Now, investors who bought shares of this company because of its popularity as a stock trading platform that's popular with younger generations need to consider the potential consequences of Robinhood being the custodian for more than $22 billion in crypto assets and counting. Robinhood has done effortlessly what other brokerages could not do as it's captured the business of young people so well. Stock investing was perceived as an older person's game until technology made it more accessible. Now Robinhood has over 22 million customers. This number is more than twice as many as it had at this time last year. The problem is that its users seem to be straying further and further away from actually investing. Many experts are skeptical about Robinhood because they believe that the business will soon likely be confined to the U.S. The platform can only offer a commission-free trading network if it's able to secure revenue through payment for order flow. 
And since that's not supported in most of the other parts of the market, the idea of global domination seems to be far-fetched. Many people currently wonder if the U.S. market will be enough to provide long-term sustainable growth, especially since many analysts believe that its stock trades around 25 times trailing 12-month sales, with revenue growth expected to slow to 18% in 2022. Compare that to competitor Interactive Brokers, which trades at two times sales and is highly profitable, Robinhood is still losing money on the bottom line. In its short history, Robinhood has faced regulatory challenges to many parts of its business. This only increases the risk to the business that its users are pivoting so hard into cryptocurrencies at a time when the treatment of these assets is the subject of fierce debate among lawmakers. More importantly, its users appear to have become far less interested in stocks than they were previously, and the fate of Robinhood's growth trajectory depends on whether or not crypto has staying power. And at the moment, the company's future is most specifically tied to Dogecoin. Recently, Robinhood Markets reported that they were testing a new crypto wallet and transfer feature on their app. This is a long-anticipated move that will make it easier for customers to spend and receive their digital currencies at will. Evidence of such work has recently been discovered in a beta version of the iPhone app. The software has a hidden image that portrays a waitlist page for users who are signing up for a crypto wallet feature. The app also has code referring to cryptocurrency transfers. Crypto wallets will let customers use their digital currencies without converting them to dollars. They also provide a single place for customers to store all of their virtual currencies protected by a private key. After reporting the test, Robinhood shares surged as much as 2.1%, up to $41.54 in late trading before pairing its profits. The stock has gone up by 7.1% since an initial public offering back in July. Although users of Robinhood can buy and sell popular cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Dogecoin, the advent of the crypto wallet will be the first time they can manage all of their crypto holdings through a wallet in the app. Other platforms like Coinbase Global and Gemini Trust already have their crypto wallets. Vlad Tenev, chief executive officer of Robinhood, said that the inclusion of crypto wallets was a priority for the company's developers. Following the release of the company's second quarter earnings, he said it's something that our teams are working on stating that the feature is in particular demand among Dogecoin proponents. The ability to deposit and withdraw cryptocurrencies is tricky to do with scale, and we want to make sure it's done correctly and properly, he continued. He didn't mention when such a launch would occur, but the support and testing in its app suggest that a debut could come anytime soon. The introduction of the wallets will also give users the ability to set up two-factor authentication. The recurring use of finance apps like Robinhood by the younger generation has bolstered the surge of the meme-inspired cryptocurrency. Access to trading and investing are presently at their all-time highs. And not only that, nearly every single large brokerage platform reduced its commission fees and account minimums to $0 in 2019. This development made trading and investing open to anyone who's 18 years old and above and has a smartphone to place their bets on cryptocurrencies. The easy access for the younger groups has led to the development of a new culture on Reddit and other forums, many of which are focused on humor and jokes than they are on proper investment decisions. The Dogecoin subreddit has been observed to grow at the same pace as the popular Wall Street Bet subreddit, which is known for its memes and risky trades. Investment in cryptocurrencies like Dogecoin has become easy in recent times, and the support from celebrities like Elon Musk has made it an attraction to many investors. The inflationary nature of the coin has also made it perfect for day-to-day -day transactions, which can make it easy to get a wide adoption in the long run as an everyday use currency. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and turn on bell notifications. We also have a free Discord group where we share daily signals and now you can also support us on Patreon. We have a special offer for our first 100 members, only $9.99 for our VIP Discord channels, where we share much more in-depth analysis and even one-on-one -on -one sessions. And make sure you check out the GSX competition for your chance to win big. Links are below and if you have any questions, drop us a comment. And as always, good luck and happy investing. Hollywood Carson.